Before this tutorial formally starts, I need to mention one very important thing. In this robot operating system, or ROS tutorial, we explain how to install the ROS2 version called Iron Irvini on Ubuntu Linux operating system by building from source, and this is very important. This installation method is for advanced ROS2 users and developers who have a need to change and customize the ROS2 base and ROS2 installation. I have also created a tutorial web page for installing ROS2 by using a more conventional approach, that is, by installing ROS2 from binary packages. A link to that tutorial is given in the description below this video tutorial. The installation of ROS2 from binary packages is much quicker and is recommended for people who want to quickly start with ROS2 programming and for absolute beginner. To summarize, the video that you are currently watching is for more advanced users and there is a separate video that is more suitable for absolute beginners. A link to that other tutorial for absolute beginners is given in the description below this video tutorial. Thank you. Hello everyone and welcome to Robot Operating System version 2 tutorials. In this tutorial we will learn how to install ROS2 Iron Irvini on Ubuntu 22.04. But before I start with explanations I need to mention the following. It took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this completely free video tutorial as well as more than 450 video tutorials that you can find on my YouTube channel. And consequently I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot! First, we need to verify that the correct Linux version is installed. ROS2 requires this version of Linux. Ubuntu Linux Jammy 22.4 64-bit. How to verify that this version is actually installed? We need to open a terminal and inside of the terminal we need to type lsb release A. And as you can see over here, in my case, the correct Linux version is installed. However, if you see, for example, here 20.04, then you need to update your Linux version such that you have 22.04. Here's the outline of this video tutorial. First, we will have to execute all the commands given over here in order to install ROS2. Then, after we install ROS2, we will run this example. This is a Hello World example for ROS2. We have two nodes. The publisher node, shown over here, that publishes this message, Hello World, and increments this counter. On the other hand, we have a listener node, over here that receives the message, that is receives the string and receives the value of the counter. And that's the hello world example that's used to test the ROS installation. On the other hand, ROS1 version will not work on this Linux version. ROS1 version requires Linux 20.04, so keep in mind that. Over here you can see a document that I prepared and that summarizes the installation process. I will provide a link to this document in the description below this video tutorial. However, don't simply copy and paste commands from this document in your terminal. Please watch this video since in this video I mentioned many important things. Okay, let's start with the installation process. The first step is to properly set up the system. First, we need to make sure that our system supports UTF-8. UTF-8 is a variable length character encoding standard used for electronic communication. Let's open a terminal. And in this terminal, we need to type these commands. First, we need to type this one. Okay, then we need to do this. You need to enter your password. Then we need to execute this command.
Okay, then we need to execute this command. Then we need to execute this command. And finally, let us run this again. Perfect. Next, we need to set the required repositories. We have to make sure that the Ubuntu Universe repository is enabled. Let's do that. We click over here on Show Applications, and over here we search for Software and Updates. We click over here, and under this menu, you have to make sure that this option is selected. This is very important. Next, go back to the terminal and run these commands. First of all, we need to run this. Then we need to run this command. Enter. And this will take some time. Okay, then we need to install curl. Here it is. Then after that, we need to run this command. Then we need to write this long command. As I mentioned previously, a link to this document will be provided in the description below. Okay, the next step is to install development tools. We need to execute these sets of commands. So let's do that. So let's copy and paste this command and let's execute it in our terminal. And here it is. We have to wait for a while and this will install the necessary packages and apps. In the third step, we need to build ROS2. First, we need to get ROS2 code files. We need to create a workspace and clone all the repositories. And if you're familiar with ROS version 1, these steps will look very familiar. Okay, the first step is to verify where we are currently. Okay, you should be in your home under your username. So keep in mind that while performing these steps. If not, you will need to type something like this. Again, cd tilde to get to the appropriate folder. Then let's create two folders. The first folder is ROS2 iron and inside we create a subfolder called source. Okay, now let's move to our base folder, ROS2iron, and over here we need to run this command. Okay, this will take some time. Next, we need to install the dependencies using ROSDEP. First of all, let's run this command, then let's run this, Then let's run this. This will take some time. Okay, not so long. And finally, let's run this. This command took around five minutes to execute on my computer. Consequently, if it takes some time for this command to execute, please be patient. The next step is to build the code in the workspace and set up the environment. If you have already installed ROS2 through any other source, or it maybe comes with your computer, you never know, you have to make sure that this new version of ROS2 that we are currently installing is not interfering with the old version of ROS2. 
That is, we have to make sure that inside of this terminal, another version is not sourced. To verify this, we need to execute this command. And the output is as it should be. We only have this version, and this is very important. Next, we need to change our working folder to go to our ROS2 iron folder. And inside of this folder, we need to execute this very important command. OK, and let's cross our finger and hope that everything will be fine. And again, you can see that there are many tasks to be completed, so be patient. As you can see over here, the complete build process took 18 minutes and 34 seconds. So expect more than 15 minutes for this process to finish. If there are some issues or errors during the build process, we can use this flag over here, packages skip to ignore the packages that are causing errors. For example, if there are issues or if we don't want to install the OpenCV library, we can skip the building of the packages that depend on OpenCV by typing this. The next step is to set up the environment by sourcing this file, local setup.bash. So let's do that. Perfect. The next step is to verify the installation by running the Hello World example. The Hello World example consists of a talker and a listener. The talker will transmit messages through the corresponding topic and the listener will receive the messages and it will display, display them on the computer screen. To do that, first of all, we need to open a new screen over here or a new terminal. Then in this terminal, we need to run the talker. First of all, you need to source the environment by running this. And then you need to type this. OK, we can see the talker is publishing something. Publishing hello world, hello world, hello world. And we can see that this counter here is being incremented. Perfect. Let's run the listener node. So open a new terminal. Then again, source the environment. And let's run the listener. Here it is. And you can see that the listener is actually reproducing the message that the talker is sending. For example, over here is 42. We can see 42, 3, 44, etc. Perfect. Okay, that would be all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.